Okay, I'm going to need you to stay with me for this story so I can give you the full breakdown. Okay, in Texas, there is an energy company named Encore. Now, 80% of Encore is owned by Energy Future Holdings. Now, they're in bankruptcy. That's not good. So while they're in bankruptcy, their major creditor, Energy Future Holdings, not Encore. Energy Future Holdings owns 80% of Encore. While they're in bankruptcy, the company that is their largest creditor, a hedge fund, Elliott Management, is trying to win a bid from the bankruptcy court and have it approved by the Public Utility Commission of Texas so that they can buy the balance and they can ultimately own and run Encore. I mean, I'm not sure if they would completely purchase the balance of the utility. It's a Dallas-based utility out of Texas, provides power to 3.6 million homes. It's It's a large utility. So here comes the twist. And again, we love twists. So here is your twist. See, Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett also would like to buy Energy Future Holdings. They also want it. And anytime Warren Buffett wants something, you know you're probably getting a very, very good company. There's something about the inner workings of this company that Warren Buffett sees a lot of long-term value in. He's not a person who purchases and flips companies and wants to just get in small percentage and have no say. No, he wants to get in with a large percentage or all of it and get on the board of directors and have a lot of say. And Warren does a heck of a job and so does the team over at Berkshire. And it's amazing, right? I mean, there's nothing you can say about the man. He's, he's amazing. So he wants to be involved in this as well. So the estimate is that the Energy Future Holdings that's in that's in bankruptcy is estimated to be worth about eighteen billion. So Warren's bid is for nineteen point one. Now Elliott Management says they're trying to get together a bid for nine point three. So a little bit higher than Warren's. But this is where I even get lost in the story a little bit. See Elliott Management says that. This is really going to affect the junior creditors. See, the junior creditors, they're going to end up with only about $0.24 as opposed to the $0.80 that they were going to get per share from this company during restructuring. If Elliott Management took control, the, the plan rolled out the proper way. So they're assuming that all the junior creditors are going to help back them up and they're going to be able to pool this money together. Remember, they're trying to get 93 That's the number they've talked about. Berkshire Hathaway, I imagine, if they say 9.1, they're trying to get 9.1 through tomorrow because the money's already in the bank. So they're putting an expedited process or a push on this through the Public Utility Commission of Texas. They're trying to get this through in 60 to 90 days as opposed to the normal 180 days. So they're really... They're letting Elliott Management know, A, they're playing ball here, and B, this is probably a really good company. Whatever reason this company went into bankruptcy, that has nothing to do with it. That could have just been, you know, mismanagement on department levels that just, over time, domino effect, and if you're not running a tight ship... But Berkshire Hathaway must see intrinsic value in this, long-term, something you can actually build a foundation with... Elliott Management, they see it too. They obviously were the largest creditor to begin with. So Energy Future Holdings, we don't know how it's going to end up. And Berkshire or Elliott Management are going to need approval from A, the bankruptcy court, and B, they're going to need the Texas, the Public Utility Commission of Texas, to be on board with this. We'll see how it all plays out. But this, while a story that's probably flying under the radar a little bit, and somewhat convoluted, I mean, it's a lot of companies, energy company, it's stuff that you're... You know, you're not overtly familiar with, but I can tell you that when Berkshire Hathaway is involved, the story could really affect things down the line. This is a company that soaks up a lot of companies, and there is no empire like the Berkshire Hathaway empire. 